this video today is highlighting why I decided to go plant-based. I hope you stay tuned. July of 2021, my husband and I started watching a couple of documentaries and it really intrigued us and convinced us to basically go all in into a plant-based diet. Those documentaries are What the Health, which they really highlight metabolic conditions and the importance of shifting to a plant-based diet to help improve those conditions. The second documentary we watched is The Game Changers. This documentary specifically talks about uh, athletes and muscle recovery and how you see improvement in muscle recovery and overall health and performance switching to more of a plant-based diet. I encourage you to take a look at those. They are really informative and they have a lot of experts who highlight the importance and the medical side of things as well. Six to nine months past that point, my daughter started eating solid foods. And if you have a young little one, you know it is difficult at times to get them to eat solid foods. My daughter was not the exception. She decided to be the pickiest eater possible. We ended up consulting her pediatrician. He knew that we were plant-based, but he did recommend to try scrambled eggs. A lot of kids tend to like this as their first food. We went out, bought eggs, and cooked her up some scrambled eggs, and she took one bite and went into anaphylactic shock. We've done some allergy testing since, and she is anaphylactic, allergic to uh, eggs and has some sensitivity to dairy as well. I have always had some dairy sensitivities. I would get bloating and just feel kind of crummy after eating ice cream or, or cheese. And I also am allergic to pepper, black pepper specifically, so I don't cook a lot with pepper. Uh, you can always add that to the recipes if you enjoy that, but I'm actually allergic to it. So that just helped solidify. We could not go back. We feel great. We are seeing so much improvement in our skin and just overall health and energy levels. But then also for the safety and health of our daughter, we decided to not go back. Fast forward April of 2023 and I had a very close family member have a quadruple heart bypass. It was terrifying. After talking to the surgeon, he gave some insight that you need to limit red meat and try and eat more of a plant-based diet. He did not say 100% plant-based, but transitioning to more of a plant-based. That just helped reconfirm the importance of eliminating meat and dairy from our diets and having more of a consistent plant-based diet. I have struggled with my weight my whole life and just starting to really hone in on more of the macro side of things and start prioritizing me and weight loss this year is really my goal. It's not only because of this family member, it's also to be here for my daughter and have the energy to be able to keep up with her. She's have pretty high energy. Those are some really important things that happened in my life that helped me decide to be plant-based. The choice is very personal. It's not an easy decision to make. I do highly recommend it. There is something about making that decision that is really, at least for myself, empowering. It is really important to think about your why why are you changing to be plant-based? Hone in on that. I hope to see you in my next video where I highlight some of the obstacles that I had to overcome and I will see you soon.